The rise of cloud native concepts created a rush to cloud, enabling a more agile development and deployment for applications. The challenge is multiple clouds create complexity in terms of variances in operating environments, tools, and processes. And with me is Sudhir Srinivasan, who's the Senior Vice President of Multi-Cloud and Data Solutions at Dell Technologies to talk about some of these issues in studio. Welcome, Sudhir, thanks for coming in. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. Now, about a month ago, we met with Shannon Champion from Dell Technologies to discuss your new family of Apex cloud platforms. And, and today, Sudhir and I are going to discuss what's new, and we're going to take a closer look at how this next generation technology is bridging the cloud divide for IT. So Sudhir, let's recap, if we could, the Apex portfolio approach, the strategy, the challenges that you're focused on for your customers, and then specifically, what should we know about Apex Cloud Platforms? Awesome, thank you, thank you, Dave. And I think it starts with what you said, exactly what you said, which is the complexity. The number one problem that we see our customers facing is more and more complex operational complexity because it's multi-cloud. I mean, most of our customers are still trying to get hybrid done right, and now they're having to deal with multiple clouds. So we talked about in the past our multi-cloud by design strategy. Uh, and that really has three legs or three pillars, I would say. Right? The first is enriching, we're enriching the public clouds by bringing our storage, software-defined storage assets into the public cloud so we can offer the same level of capabilities, enterprise-grade storage capabilities in the cloud. That's what we call our ground-to-cloud piece. The second piece is connecting the cloud operating environments back on-prem, and that's what we call cloud to ground, and that's what we're going to talk a little bit more about today, the announcement we're going to talk about. And then the third piece is optimizing that experience, multi-cloud experience, to be able to give that cloud consumption experience, you know, subscription, as a service, no matter where you are, whether you're in the cloud or you're on-prem. So it's this, you know, we've taken a holistic approach to multi-cloud that really simplifies operations across cloud, on-prem, edge, wherever. And the trick is, how do you deliver that consistency at all layers of the stack, right? All the way from infrastructure, all the way up to the application layer. And that's where this new stuff comes in. Okay, so the, 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 the new stuff, the Apex Cloud Platform family, you're saying addresses operational consistency, and this includes on-prem, correct? Can you tell me correct. more about what these are? Yeah, so if you think about sort of cloud native, as you said, there's a lot of, lot of applications, modern applications are being developed in, in the cloud or in modern uh, app dev environments like Kubernetes and containers, right? So what we set out to do was to bring those operating environments to the customers on-prem as easy as it is to consume in the cloud. And we've done this in the past with on-prem infrastructure like uh, VMware, right? We're, we're, we've had um, a lot of success, years of success, delivering that level of uh, ease of use and automation in hyper-converged infrastructure on-prem. And we're doing that now for multi-cloud as well. So we, just like we did in the past, we're now collaborating very closely with uh, three partners, Microsoft, Red Hat and VMware to co-engineer these turnkey solutions. They're, they're really turnkey solutions that dramatically reduce your operational complexity and ease of use. All right, so you got to giving customers choice, that's important. Yeah. And, and we've talked before about the need for this. this. So sorry, yeah, we're giving choice, consistency, and control. That's what the Apex Cloud Platform's offering. Okay, you got the three C's. Choice, consistency, and control. Okay, so, so choice is, in other words, any cloud, on-prem, consistency, we've talked in, in the past about sort of the need to abstract all that underlying complexity mm -hmm. and have a common experience, uh, obviously gives you control. How do you actually do that in these platforms? Yeah, yeah great question. I think the, it, the three C's actually start with consistency. That's the founding, the base uh, capability. And we achieve that through using common building blocks across all of the Apex Cloud Platform family. And the building blocks are actually three of them, right? The first is the hardware. So we bring to the, our industry best, industry leading PowerEdge servers, the next generation, of, the latest generation of PowerEdge servers, 
which are all based on the Intel fourth generation Xeon scalable processor. So you're getting the best compute across all of them, and it's common. The second piece is the software-defined storage. Now that, again, independent of which stack you're using, which cloud stack, you're getting the same software-defined storage across all of them. So you get that consistency. And then the last piece is the management and orchestration software that makes this platform be what it is, which is a turnkey solution, right? Extreme levels of automation that give you a fast time to value. And that's also common across all of them. So in discussions like this, I like to invoke Einstein, like uh, adapt an Einstein saying. So my take on this is move as much data as you need to, but no more. Now, that's but right. you still have to have data mobility. So how are you addressing data mobility for customers? Yeah, no, well, that's, that's actually, we talked about infrastructure complexity. Data is actually another, yet another level of complexity for customers. Data is everywhere. Sometimes you have to move the data to where the application is. Sometimes you move the workload to where the data is. And we set out to solve this using what we call our universal storage layer, right? We talked about the common storage. So it's this storage stack that's available both on-prem and in the clouds. That's how the two pieces come together, the cloud to ground and the cloud uh, ground to cloud. So we get the customer can get the same storage services and operational interfaces everywhere. And not only that, because it's the same storage uh, stack on both sides, we can actually leverage very efficient data mobility techniques or, or mechanisms between them. So we're moving data in much more efficient uh, ways. And because it's the, the same operational interface, customers don't have to re-platform their application, you know, whether you're going from in the cloud to on-prem or vice versa. Yeah, so obviously moving data can be time consuming and expensive. So you could give us some use cases where data mobility, where you're kind of making that an enabler as, a, yeah. as opposed to a roadblock for customers? Sure, I mean, the most common one we get is again, the application delivery one, right? Where customers you know, might want to spin up an app, uh, develop an environment in the cloud to, to enable their developers to actually develop the application, but they may choose to deploy it in production on premises. You can do that now without having to worry about it being different across the two locations. The one that's e even more compelling, I would say, is the, the world of data, and, and especially now with AI, right? Um, the speed at which, or the, the, the rate at which customers need to consume resource infrastructure to do analytics and to do AI is just incredible. And so you may not always be able to have those resources in one location. And with, with the universal storage layer now, you can actually move data to wherever you need, wherever you might have the GPUs, for example, to be able to do your, your AI over or machine learning over there and then bring the results back. Got it. Okay, so you got this common framework for management and orchestration. Can, can you add a little bit of color there and tell me, tell me more about that? Ah, uh, yes, that's, uh, that's what we call uh, <clears throat> our Apex Cloud Platform Foundation software. You know. This is the software that we have spent years now developing in the world of, <coughs> excuse me, in the world of hyperconverged infrastructure and software-defined infrastructure. What we're done now is taking that software, which delivers all the automation and lifecycle management, and make it, it made it available to beyond just the hyperconverged into this multi-cloud infrastructure. And because of the the experience that we've built into this, you know, we're seeing customers are seeing as much as 90% reduction in deployment time, for example, or you know, 88% in the number, reduction in the number of steps required to deploy um, <clears throat> a stack, a development environment stack. And this, not only do we do the automation across the, AC, the Apex Cloud platforms, we've also integrated this foundation software into the partner's management plane. So what that does is it gives a customer that familiarity with their cloud environment, so they can still leverage that, but it also gives consistency across the cloud environments. So it's the best of both worlds. This is good, I mean, it's impressive. You, take, you guys taking a holistic approach to the problem, you're addressing this complexity you know, head on, which is what, what customers want you to do. A any closing thoughts, Sudhir? Now look, we are very excited to bring the Apex Cloud Platform family. Last last month we uh, announced the one for Azure, and today we're announcing the one 
for Red Hat and OpenShift. And it's, 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 uh, it's going to bring tremendous value to our customers and partners and giving them choice, consistency, and control across their multi-cloud estate. That's good. You guys are doing some good work. Thanks for coming into the studio today. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome. All right, about a month ago, Dell introduced the first platform in this new Apex family with the Apex Cloud platform from Microsoft Azure. Now it's time for everyone to hear more about the next offer to market the Apex Cloud platform for Red Hat OpenShift. So stick around as Chris Morgan, who's the Senior Director of Product Management at Red Hat, joins Caitlin Gordon, who's the Vice President of Product Management from Dell, to dig into this exciting new offer and explain its potential to transform OpenShift operations on-prem. 